Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we are looking at tracking an effects mask, specifically tracking a mask of a blurred face. Here is a video that includes somebody that did not sign a waiver saying that they wanted to be in this video. Let's say it's this person here with the red shirt. So in order to protect his privacy, we are going to blur his face. The first thing I'm gonna do is click on him and then go ahead over to my effects. And I'm just going to put blur in to make life easier. Gaussian blur, I actually had used that last so that was highlighted. Gaussian tends to be a very nice blur. I'm just gonna double click on that and that appears in the effects control. It appears there because this is highlighted so it immediately falls on that clip. So I'm gonna first blur it a lot. I'm gonna blur the whole clip. So the entire clip is now blurred. And now I'm going to choose a mask, which will confine that blur. I chose the circle because I am blurring a face, which is circular for the most part. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on his face. And you might notice that my timeline is just right in the middle of that clip. It doesn't have to be at the very beginning, as you'll see when we start. Now, when it comes to masking, something to keep in mind is that you need to have a differ you have to differentiate between the inner mask and the outer mask for example this color of his skin and the color of his hair is different the color of his skin and the color of the wall is different his chin and his shirt so it has to have a border in which it knows that it's different from so now i'm going to click on this forward arrow that says track selected mask forward and you'll notice that it's tracking it and keep an eye on my playhead this has fallen towards the end so this whole mask has, has worked. I'm, I'm gonna have to track backwards since I didn't start at the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the playhead right here and then say, track selected mask backwards. So that's See, once that. once I learned one type of... Didn't really work that well. I didn't... Many. I kind See, of one... didn't cover enough of him. So to work with your mask to make corrections, just click on the word mask one in this case. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a little bit larger just to give me more room to create a better mask. And you can continuously refine your mask. I didn't put this towards the edge of his face enough in order to make it better. And I'm going to re-mask path it. Again, I'm going to go forward, see how that looks. See where that ended? And I'm gonna go backwards. Track mask backwards. You don't use these guys. This is just one frame. This is just one frame forward, one frame. You generally don't even use those. Just check, stay with the other ones. Let's take a look at this. See, once I learned one type of design. All right, not too bad. It may wanna be feathered a little bit more. Over here is your mask feather. I had it at 10, maybe a little bit more. Let's see how it looks a little bit. See, once I learned one type of design, I found it easier to add another. Masking is done in all editing systems, but not all editing systems allow you to track your mask. Final Cut Pro, for example, doesn't have this capacity at all. I hope you've enjoyed this video on tracking an effects mask. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.